What's up everybody? Out here at the lake doing a little fishing. As you can see, it's pretty dingy water, but that didn't stop me from getting this guy. Let's go get a weight on him. Well, he's coming in at right at a pound and a half, which is good for my little ultra light rod I was using. I'm out here trying to catch a few crappie. So, get him back in the water and we'll see if we can catch a couple of those. There he goes. Huh. Gave me a little splash. So it's the next day. I uh, was out there, did a little more fishing yesterday. I actually broke the mount on my GoPro, so I didn't get to film with that like I had planned on. Uh, I did catch one more fish. Uh, I took some pictures of it so I could show you guys. I'll throw those up on the screen. Uh, it was a pretty decent one. It's a little bit bigger than that last fish. The last fish, if you remember, was a pound and a half. Uh, that fish maybe hit about two pounds. Uh, maybe. Uh, there was a couple other guys there that was watching me fish. Uh, whenever I pulled that fish in, it had a, a shad in its mouth there where it had been feeding and they thought that was pretty cool. I got that picture there as you can see. So out here today, went and did some fishing this morning. That didn't pan out at all for me. Uh, I decided not to drive back to the lake. Fuel prices are high. That's like a 30 to 40 minute drive for me. Uh, so I opted out of that, went a little bit closer, went down to the river. The river's up and moving. Uh, the clarity's better, but uh, I just I didn't have any luck at all. So I'm out here, uh, I needed to come check the food plot, so that's what we're going to do in the rest of the video. Uh, I brought some fertilizer with me uh, in case I want to put down some fertilizer today. We're going to see if anything uh, actually took root. I want to see if anything uh, eroded uh, in that water that was out last week. Um, so hopefully everything got rooted before those torrential rains hit. Uh, if not, well, I guess better luck next year. Uh, I will turn you around because corn planting has begun, at least fertilizing. I put fertilizer out yesterday. You may be able to see the tracks and fertilizer buggies. Uh, they came out here, got this all disc, got the fertilizer on it. I know that my cousin is trying to get some of that corn seed in the ground today. He's planting another field and then eventually coming down to work this one. So thought I'd come in here while he is uh, planting that other field so I wouldn't be in his way and I wouldn't park right where he's trying to get in. So gonna get in here. We're gonna see if we can find some of those buckwheat, uh, maybe some of the peas that was in that mix. And uh, if we need to throw down some fertilizer, we will. So let's go. One other thing I failed to mention is I am most likely to come out of this place absolutely covered in ticks. So I sprayed down a lot, uh, but this is definitely going to be an in and out deal. I'm not going to probably get in there and talk a whole lot. Uh, if we do film a lot, it'll probably be some highlights because I want to minimize the amount of uh, parasites crawling all over me. So I'm going to get in there, get this fertilizer spread, hopefully and then get back out and then we'll talk at home after I get home and take a shower. I don't want Lyme disease. Oop, there's some deer tracks. That's a good sign. This is a fairly well-known deer path. It looks like the water was up pretty high, just from the debris. It does make walking through here a whole lot easier. A lot of this stuff's out of the way. Sounds like there's some deer out there. Let's see, 
right up here should be where some of that food plot was started. Pretty much um, right in here up. Let's see if we can see anything. I don't see anything right away that see it shows anything coming up. Like I said, it may have been a little too late. Oh, there's some. There's a pea right there. So maybe a little bit of it took. And there's some more right there. I would say it is scattered out through here. I'll probably do this smaller little open patch right here that I'm in and then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here well just like I said he was coming in here to plant corn and he's on his way back around he's already came in this lower portion of the field he's about to make his first lap so Getting some corn in the ground today. It's supposed to possibly shower tonight. Uh, on and off, scattered showers. So, should be right. Get this fertilizer in the ground. Get those little plants germinating. I actually seen a few more pea plants uh, up in the upper portion that I planted last time. Uh, you can get on video uh, last time or this time, but it's a lot thicker up there. So, we do have a lot of peas coming in. That'll be good. Uh, I absolutely laid the fertilizer to them today, which that soil is pretty depleted, so it isn't going to hurt anything by putting that in there. Uh, but he'll be making his way around here, and uh, we'll, we'll see him get some more corn in the ground. Well, everybody, I know it's been a back and forth video this week. Uh, hopefully in the future, uh, coming days, I can go out and maybe get on the water again, try and catch a few more fish. But for this video, that's going to be it. So I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.